Make sure you don't miss 10 questions tomorrow, dropping at 7 a.m. when I interview Poke and Joe. Great interview. I think you guys will find it really, really interesting. Also, make sure you check down in the description below so that you can find out how to purchase a Small Town Collectibles comic book mystery box and how to get a discount code over at Street Level Hero LA where you can get 10% off your order and raise some money for a great cause. Today, I'm going to give you my top five picks and a bonus sleeper pick for New Comic Book Day, November 10th, 2021, if you're on a budget of $25 a week. That's coming up next. I'm Jimmy Don Kerr, and this is the Small Town Collectibles YouTube channel. So before we get into my top five picks for New Comic Book Day, I wanna ask you, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button, turn on that notification bell, so that you get notified when I put out new content. Smash that like button and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about my picks this week. Epic new era for the sinister symbiote starts here. Hot off the heels of Venom 200 and Extreme Carnage, we're closing out 2021 with one of the most ambitious books in symbiote history. An all new Venom from some of comics' greatest talents, Marvel mainstay Al Ewing, who himself has just ended a character redefining run on the Immortal Hulk, is being joined by Rom B, a horror maestro all his own, to craft a mind bending and gut wrenching tale of symbiosis the likes of which Marvel Universe ever seen. As if that weren't enough, they've been joined by industry legend Brian Hitch, who is leaving it all on the page. We haven't led you astray yet, have we? So trust us when we tell you that you've never seen a Venom like this. So that is the synopsis for Venom number one, the new book from Al Ewing and Rom V with Brian Hitch on art. Um, makes number five on the list because, or for me anyway, because Al Ewing's run on Immortal Hulk was epic. It was phenomenal. Then you've got Rom V who's over on Swamp Thing right now and it's been an absolutely phenomenal run of Swamp Thing and I'm not even that big of a Swamp Thing fan necessarily I like the character but as far as reading the title I haven't read it a whole lot what Ron V's done over there is amazing and I cannot wait to see what these two do when they get teamed up on this Venom title I think this book will be heavily printed I don't know that it has any true spec value but I think it's a definite pickup to see how this series starts because I think it could be an epic run A post-apocalyptic coming-of-age story from four kids walk into a bank's Tyler Boss and Matthew Rosenberg. The world has ended. All that remains are the gangs of children living among the ruins. But Sid believes there must be something more out there. When she disappears into the wastelands, her gang will risk everything to bring her home. A story about the things that matter most, your survival, your loved ones, and your record collection. This is a triple size first issue from Image. I think this is gonna be a really, really fun read. And, you know, I'm gonna give you a sleeper pick here at the end of the video, but I think this could be a sleeper book as well. Um, you know, Image puts out great titles. Um, so, you know, what's the furthest place from here? Number one, I think could be really, really fun. And I think could definitely be a long-term hold for something special down the road. From Mark McCann and artist Phil Buckingham, Winter is seduced by the boy sprite Petros, off to never never, a place where children never grow up and adults are the enemy. What would such a place look like? Where resources are scarce, time passes, but age is obsolete. War with adults, starved and insane from constant battle is the norm. What would ageless boys, free of civility and role models, be willing to do to survive, to live forever? A young girl will face her greatest test, an island full of immortal cannibals with a dark secret that sustains its existence in the most unnatural and awful of ways. And that is never, never number one. You've got the Cover B second printout this week. Now, why I put this on the list? Number one, it's been a pretty decent story. I said yesterday on First Appearances and Key Issues that I'd read the first book and I just didn't really like it. I don't know if I was tired. I don't know what the deal was. I just didn't care for it. 
but I've read the first three. And when I read them together, it really spoke to me a little differently. So I, I dig the story. And again, this is something I could see as a Netflix series, you know, something along that line. Um, and I know this is the second print, but you know this is going to be a short print run. And the first cover A's are hard to find, even on the secondary market. You know, prices are, are up on those. So I think the second print of Never Never Number One could be a good investment long term. Where is Lee Harvey Oswald's body? It's a good question. The Kennedy assassination is a rat's nest of conspiracy theories, mafia involvement, the second gunman, government cover-up, but the most important chapter of this sword tale may be just the theory that the body buried at Oswald's Rose Hill gravesite is not actually Lee Harvey himself. Meet the ragtag group of useful idiots who are unwittingly brought together to clean up the crime of the century. A wannabe cowboy from Wisconsin, a buddy Holly idolizing former car thief, a world-weary civil rights activist ready for revolution, and a failed G-man who acts the part and specifically regarding the matter of Oswald's body. So this makes number two on the list for me this week straight up as a read. I love conspiracy theory titles. I love the JFK con conspiracy theories and a comic book based around uh, that, I guess, setting and, you know, whether Oswald's body uh, is actually where it's supposed to be, that really intrigues me. And I like the ragtag group of useful idiots. That means it's going to be funny. And I think this could be a really, really solid read. And I cannot wait to grab and pick up regarding the matter of Oswald's body, number one. And that is why it's number two on the list this week. All right, we've got the top four out of the way. Let's jump into number one. The next big thing begins here. Renowned storyteller Walter Mosley brings a signature style to a sweeping saga of Yancey Street's favorite son that will range from the urban sprawl of the back alleys of Manhattan to the farthest reaches of the cosmos itself. A lonely evening and a chance encounter, or is it? since Ben Grimm embarking on a sojourn that will have him encountering and battling figures both new and old. Featuring guest appearances from figures drawn from throughout the Marvel Universe as well as precision artwork by Tom Riley, the next big thing will remind audiences why The Thing is one of the most popular and beloved characters in the history of comics. So why is this number one? And it is primarily for this cover C variant from Lee Bermeo. That is one of the sickest covers that I've seen sometime. And for it to be a cover C with a retail price of $4.99 blows my mind. Like I, I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it is a must pick up for me this week. I think there's gonna be some value in it too, at least in the short term, because this is gonna be a hard cover to pick. I know Midtown and several websites that I've checked, have, this is sold out and you cannot get this cover C. Also, I love The Thing. Thing is one of my favorite characters along with Hulk and Superman and Batman. I just love Ben Grimm. I've always loved that character. And this book, you also get a couple of first appearances. You get the first appearance of Amaryllis described as The Thing's newfound love and the first appearance of Bruce. So not only do you get this just fire cover, but you also get a couple of first appearances and it's the new number one issue for this series. So. I don't know how this series will turn out, you know, how the writing is going to be, what the story is ultimately going to be, but I know that is an absolutely fire cover. And if I can get a cover like that with a couple of first appearances, you better bet it's going to make number one on my list. As promised, I'm going to have a sleeper pick for you each week. And the sleeper pick this week is Phenom X number one, written by John Leguizamo. This has a cover price of $6.99. And the synopsis reads, wrongfully imprisoned and desperate to regain his freedom, Max Gomez agrees to become a subject in an underground government experiment. When the trial gives him phenomenal shape-shifting abilities, Gomez learns his new freedom requires surviving a super-powered war fought on the streets of New York City. So why 
this one as a sleeper pick. So number one, the $6.99 price tag, I could not fit into the budget. Okay, so I wanted to give you an option for another book because I spent all my money with those five books that I just gave you. So if you wanted to replace one of those books, if you're not into Venom, if you're not into some of the indie titles, you might want to slide this one in because I think this has potential for a movie. It sounds like a movie. It sounds like a Netflix movie or a uh, Prime Video movie. That's what it sounds like. And with John Leguizamo tied to it, the actor, there's a pretty good chance that he may be writing this for himself and want to turn it into a... Uh, a movie down the road, you know, and a lead for him. So I think this is a good sleeper pick, Phantom X number one. I know it's one I'm definitely going to read online. And if I like the way the story reads, I'm going to grab it and hold it in the PC for the long term. All right, guys, that is it for this week. That is my top five picks for new comic book day. If you're on a budget of $25 a week with a sleeper pick of a book that I think has some long term potential as well. I really appreciate you guys taking your time to come over here and hang out on the channel with me today. I hope this list helps you if you're on a budget, make some picks for new comic book day. I hope you guys have the greatest new comic book day ever. I know I'm going to have a good one as we always end these things until next time. <laughs>